guess Amro has to go make his me. Yeah, that's. There's a lot of me's on here. His Nikki, signature Nikki is on here. There's. Good lord, there's about six Nikki's. Yeah, there are six Nikki's on here. But is this the setup he wanted? One, three, one, one, three, two? No. We have one, <laughs> three, one, two. it again. <laughs> Alrighty then. Oh, I'm, got, I'm a little disappointed there aren't one? some more silly uh, me's on this console, but. I mean, a lot of times people say, you know, don't take the time to make your me, but obviously, like, customize it, but obviously, he's already got it set up. This is uh, yes. top 16, by the way. Oh, this oh, we're is top, top 16. Yeah, this top is winner's 16. quarters. Okay, so. All right, yeah, I, I would be surprised to see these two playing so early, if not. But this is winner's quarters. Oh, yeah, Nitro and Aimer. Okay, so. Okay, so I, I, it looks like Aimer is opting for me, Gunner, in this matchup. Um, but try and answer. I wonder if he knows that Nitro has been playing um, Joker now. I, I yes, but also I think Gunner is just kind of his best character. You know, he was known for his Gunner mostly in four he plays the other ones, but you know I think his Gunner is probably still his best. I haven't actually got to see him play too too much recently. Okay. If he's been playing other ones, but I I know him for his Gunner. Well, he does play all the meetings. Yeah. And I know him to switch for different matchups. Uh, well, even if he was changing the Miis on there for a new setup, that doesn't guarantee he isn't going to go sort of uh, brawler. But it is going to be the gunner. One, three, one, two. And Nitro going with Joker. He uh, normally a Richter main, but... Uh, been putting in some work with his Joker. Definitely, and we, we've seen him improve very quickly with this character. Uh, I would not be surprised to see him take this set and do very well at this tournament. But Aimer is another one of those. I, I would say he's a hidden boss. I, I don't know about hidden anymore, just because, you know, he's been around for so long, we all kind of know him. Outside of SoCal, probably, I guess. Uh, doesn't travel too too much as far as I'm aware, but you know he's been around here in SoCal for a while doing some work with me Gunner ever since that four. Yeah, well, I've I've talked to him a little bit about me Gunner in this game, and he's told me that he does not like it as much as yeah. in the previous game. I definitely, whenever I've heard him talk about this, he wants the old air mobility back, obviously with the forward air. It, you know, flying across the stage with a foe there for some reason. Right, but now this character has some other advantages. That Nair is... Uh, it's Cloud. It's Cloud's Nair. They it's took very away, good. They just took away Cloud's DLC privilege and put it on the Gunner for some reason. Yeah, and... Um, and now the rule set allows him to change between all the different moves. And uh, speaking of DLC privilege, Arsene is out to yep. play. First stock taken off of Aimer with it, but now it is gone back into higher. Yeah, this is still um, Okay. Yeah, Aimer trying to catch the maybe a drift back there with the, with the up air. I didn't realize uh, it, me Gunner can go so far deep and, and threaten you so far into the stage. Yeah, but the trade-off is, you know, they got some stuff, but nothing's that crazy on this character. Yeah. I like uh, that, that Nitro is, is how he's using these guns. He doesn't want to go out there and overcommit with Aimer recovering low all the time, but he's, he's already ahead, and he can just continue to build his lead by putting on some damage every time he knocks Aimer off stage. And then still ledge trapping him. Yeah, and I'm liking these up throws from Aimer just because, you know, he doesn't have a kill throw or anything, doesn't have a way to actually kill him, but instead forces him in the air and says, You'll die if I can catch your landing. But so the problem that Aimer has always had, and, and uh, Aimer and Tater, they tend to they play characters that uh, their kill options are not that great, and it t the stocks tend to drag on for a while. But against a character like Joker, who's going to get Arsene, yeah. maybe 
two or even three times in a stock with all the projectiles uh, Joker or that uh, Aimer throws out. This becomes a very difficult matchup because you're going to have, again, like two or three instances of Arsene coming out, and you cannot take damage there because you might not. Yeah, you, you fall behind so far because uh, Joker's going to kill you a lot earlier, especially with Arsene, than in most scenarios, than uh, me Gunner will get. Yeah, but Amy's to. played this stock pretty well. You know, he's taken some damage, but he's put a lot of damage onto Nitro, survived Arsene. It's going to be scary if Arsene comes back out before he can get this stock, but that bomb yeah, gets him so much. That was really smart to level guard that, honestly. And he's back. Yeah, but I, Me Gunner is not a character I, that oh, like, no. it's easy for him to make a comeback like this. But uh, maybe he'll prove me wrong here because he's already cleaned up two stocks here. All right, down throw. Looks for a neutral, but does not find it. Tries to play trap with the photo. Again, not connecting. Him. Okay, yeah, and that side beat just putting on so much damage. Uh, Joker doesn't need to look for a lot more before he can end the stock. Oh, and the back air, and that the will back be going air. so deep for it in the end. That was, that was a dirty hitbox right there, too. And just got the tip of it dropping down. I, and I said Vance cursed him. And finally committing off stage like him. that. Let's go, Aim instantly dies. It's your fault, Vince. Vince definitely cursed Aim on that last game. Yeah. Right before he got backered, Vance was like, let's go Aim, and then he's like, let's go Aim ring. instantly yeah. afterwards. Yeah. Let's go Aim back air. Yeah, it, it was actually terrible. I think yeah, Vance was Vance. sabotaging him. Send, uh, send Vance some Twitter or some Twitter hate, you know? <laughs> no, don't do please that. don't. Don't do that. No. 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 Totally joking. That's don't actually do that. All right. I totally do not. You, you, you got to remember that the streamer is on the mic now. So, no, don't do that. Papa Please. Hobby's here to take control. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, you kids. What was that that I was reading in chat earlier? Okay, so we're seeing a sword fighter come out. I, I like this pick because I don't think he's going to get it done with Gunner here. Just for the main reasons I stated before. It does not seem like a very good matchup for me, Gunner. Yeah, definitely at least trying to match disjoint for disjoint, which I get the idea behind. Okay, so I wasn't actually sure what up he was running, but it looks like uh, that's going to be a choice. Nitro knew either. It's so hard to keep track. I feel like that's the one I haven't seen. No oh, way. What? That was such a sick confirm. Guns into up smash. And those guns are so good. And Nitro only has... Well, now he has 86%, but he's still in a great spot right now. What is that? <laughs> that chalk run right there? Yeah, okay, there's so you a can slow throw chalk it run that stays out there. And it comes um, back to you. That's, that's yeah, and it actually confirms into like F2 and F smash if you do it at the right spacing. Yeah, this character has stuff. Fun fact, my two roommates, one of them plays me Gunner and the other plays me Sword Fighter. Uh, what possesses the person? I don't know. To do this. I ask Aimer all the time, and he just can't. He never gives me a straight answer. Yeah, so I have to deal with these two characters like every day. <laughs> um, I'm definitely taking some notes here from Nitro, going out there with the back air and edge guarding Aimer. Yeah. Gotta let that one down. Aimer doing even worse with this character. Yeah, I think the comfort definitely showed on the meat gunner, but you know, sometimes that's kind of how it goes. You counter pick for a matchup. Uh, matchup basing, you're not quite as confident on it, and uh, it kind of backfires, but... don't know the matchup or the character He hasn't well. lost yet, obviously. We can't count him out yet, but it's not looking as good as the Meat Sword was. Yeah, or with, with, Joe, with Arsene getting on here, if he gets even hit once, it's pretty much game at this point. And nice, Aimer with the taunt there after the back air. He's, like I said, he's still alive. That up is scary. Okay, nice recovery back to the ledge, but Amor's just getting pressured so hard over here. Nitro's uh, doing a great job of getting the recovery to might stage. be a little scarier if the first and second hit connected. Uh, but it's looking kind of like an aerial Samus grab, but a little bit more fair. Yeah, Nitro's pressure has been so good. 
much recently. He just feels like uh, Aimer can't breathe at all off, off stage or when he gets in a bad spot. It's just all over him. Right there, Joker's up B when it has Arsene, has invincibility at the first couple of frames, and Nitro just taking advantage of that to dodge the tornado that will two frame that. Yeah, I like how Aimer's he's, he's using the projectiles a lot more when Arsene is out, just to kind of try to lock down Nitro, but, but uh, he's holding off now because he doesn't want them to get Rebel started. Okay, yeah, but it's, it seems to be, it's, Amor's not having a problem getting openings, but he just can't seem to capitalize that much off of them. Okay, back throw, not gonna kill, but it's getting dangerously close. That's a, oh, oh air dodge. Uh, he must have buffered roll there, and he dies for it. Yeah, that just did not look fun, honestly. Like, that just looked really frustrating to deal with. Definitely. Definitely. I think uh, some, of, some of them might have been a little of matchup inexperience. But it seems like these characters really struggle against Joker. I so it sounds like we're having a bit of a swap. Um, All right. I've had a blast uh, commentating tonight. Yeah. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Uh, if we could switch back real quick, Javi. No? Give me a okay. sec. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Okay. Yeah. Um, but anyways, I've been Orchestra. Yeah, great casting with you, Orchestra. I was Jack the Mac. Yeah, and it's been a pleasure. We're leaving you guys in the very capable hands of Vance and Toasty. Uh, keep it locked in here on the WNF stream. Oop.